Hey, this is Brent Boyer from Adam. So let's talk divorce. Today I want to talk about surveillance and tracking. So a lot of times we'll get uh, a client will come in and they'll tell us about information that they've been gathering where they're trying to track their wife because they suspect that she's cheating or she's not where she says she is. And um, it's, it's basically what some people call tracking and hacking. So looking for information on their wife, uh, looking at email, GPS trackers, find my iPhone, all that type of technology where you can see where somebody is and what they're doing. Um, so first of all, uh, if you suspect that your wife is cheating, there's a good chance that she is. I mean, if you know her and you've been married for a long time, it's probably the case. So getting information on it really isn't going to be that useful for your divorce case. It's not going to really have that big of an impact on your divorce case. So that's the perspective from the attorney. But of course, this is something that's personal to you and you want to know what's going on. You're trying to verify whether your wife is cheating on you or whether she's where she says she's going to be, or whether she's lying to you about her whereabouts. So, you know, to begin with, if your wife is sharing information with you, if you, for example, if you have an iPhone and you're using the Find My iPhone app, that's perfectly fine. That's legal. She knows that you have her location. She knows location services are on, or she should. And she would know that you would be able to tell where she is and what she's up to as far as that. So that's all good. And if you have her permission, or you have her consent for a password to an email account or her laptop or whatever it might be, a Facebook profile, if you have consent for all that, that's totally fine. Um, when you don't, though, it can get you into trouble. So one thing you should know, uh, first of all, if you're going to put a GPS tracker on your wife's car or it's on your car, but it's the car that she drives, you cannot do that. It's illegal for you to do that. And the strange thing about Michigan law, the strange thing is that you can hire a private investigator and they can put a GPS tracker on your wife's car and they can track her whereabouts and they can do surveillance, but you can't do it. So it's just two different things. One's surveillance. The other one's really harassment and stalking, I think is the, probably the issue there. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you're really worried about this and really looking for information on it, you do have the right to hire a private investigator and they're going to be able to do things legally that you would not be able to do. So one, one approach would be getting a private investigator if you're looking for information on this type of thing. Um, as far as other information, it's not legal to you know use your wife's email account or look at her, her email account or be hacking into her Facebook profile or any other online social media or any other accounts. And like I say, if she gave you the password, that's fine. But if she leaves it open and you don't really don't have permission to be looking at the account, you really do not want to be doing that. It's going to get you in trouble. It's something that's illegal and it can get you charged with a crime. So you want to stay away from that type of thing. Um, and keeping in mind, too, from a strategy standpoint, with a divorce case going forward, this issue of whether she's cheating on you or not cheating on you is really not going to have much impact on your divorce typically. The way Michigan law looks at this, uh, it's basically no fault. And so who's at fault and who's not at fault and who's to blame for why the divorce is happening is very difficult to prove and really only has like a 5% effect on things anyways. So that's kind of the idea here of what we're looking at, trying to keep, keep you steering clear from trouble and avoiding things that are just going to cause confusion and trouble and possibly uh, getting contacted by the police because that's no good. And uh, if you need to contact me, you can go to the website, adamdivorcelaw.com, or shoot me an email if you have any questions. My email address is brentb at bmpclaw.net. Thanks.